Hey guys, welcome back to Spitters. And in this video tutorial, I'll show you how I created this cool animation. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So, first, we need some spheres. So, just take one sphere, okay? And then. Right click, go to animation tag and select swipe it. Okay. Now enable this position. Frequency 0.5. So just quickly play this. Yeah, so you will get this kind of animation. Okay. Go to frame 0, select the sphere, radius 0, add a keyframe and add 40 frame, make it 100. Again add a keyframe. Okay, just play once. Perfect. Now we need to create three more spheres. Just duplicate the sphere and position wherever you want. Now go to frame 0 and just randomize the radius. Now select all spheres, go to 260th frame, add a keyframe, add 300, make 0, like this. So you go, if you go to frame 0 and play, you will get this kind of animation. Alright. Now select this icon and we need this meta ball. Now select the all four spheres and put them inside the meta ball like this. Now select the meta ball. Display animation bit, you will get this kind of stuff, but we don't mind that. So we need to increase the hull value like this. Also, ready, also reduce the editor subdivision like this. So now if you play, you will get this kind of animation. See. Alright. Now we need one torus. So select the torus. Play animation width. So you get the idea. Okay, now go to top view and align this torus like this. We need to reduce the radius, our uh, pipe radius, and increase ring radius like this. Okay. Now quickly animate this ring, but before that, you just need to increase the ring segments. So, 85 is fine. Alright. Now, just go to frame 0. Select this torus. Go to chords. And add a keyframe. At the last frame, make this thing 360 degree. 
and this one 720 okay now don't forget to add keyframe okay now if you play you'll get this kind of animation Select the stores, right click, go to animation, and then F curves. Select this thing, go to again, go to F curves. Yeah, now select both P and rotation edge and click on this linear icon all right okay now let's quickly move to texturing part so for those spheres i choose glass material for that click on the transparency check and reflectance remove and add back in Fennel dielectric conductor and glass remove the roughness don't know what it and just like this material drag and drop on meta ball okay now we need one more material for the torus so double click here go to reflectance remove this backman funnel conductor and inside preset choose this gold option again we don't want roughness so make it 0% I'll go to color and give this nice gold color now simply drag this material and drop on this torus okay let's take one sky object drag and drop on sky right click go to render tags and compositing and uncheck scene by camera that's it go to render setting inside output let's Set 1920 by 1080 and frame from 0 to 300. Now save this as a mp4 file with alpha channel. Now give a path here. Once you set the path, simply click on this icon. Okay, so now we are in After Effects. Just drag those MP4 inside the After Effect like this. So you can see now select both and drag to here. Select single composition and hit OK. Now make sure this alpha file is stop on this metaball and before. Like this. Now select this metaball and before 
the alpha layer and then go to effects color correction curves just drag down the bit like this okay now select the meta ball and before in a track pad change to luma mat now quickly create one background so right click and solid hit okay right click on the background layer go to generate select full color gradient all right now you play from the beginning see this kind of animation I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe as Petels and don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you.